Hi guys, it's Dr. Blythe. I am a metaphysician and self-healing design expert. I want to share something with you today. I am so confused and surprised and saddened that one of my really good friends, um, she had a lumpectomy and it came back that she has 35% chance of getting cancer. She has decided to get a double mastectomy. She doesn't even have cancer and she only has a 35% chance of getting cancer. And she hasn't asked me what I think. I mean, she knows me, so she knows what I think, but she keeps telling me like all the information. And I keep making suggestions. But now that she's told me she's getting a double mastectomy and she doesn't want, that's just what she's doing. There's, there's no other, there's no other option for her in her head. She's so, that's what's happening. And I cannot believe it. Surgery, removing body parts in the name of prevention is dated. It's dated. We already know that cancer doesn't happen that way. If you remove tissue, cancer is a disease of poor oxygenation. It's a disease of acidity. It's a disease of toxicity. Okay, both of mental, emotional, and physical, environmental. If it's going to manifest in the body, it'll find different tissue. Just because you take the breast tissue doesn't mean that cancer can't, won't manifest in the body. So to remove the tissue to prevent the cancer is insane. It's not, it's, it's insane. We already know more than that. And when Angelina Jolie did it, I could, I, my heart broke for her. I mean, I was so sad. I think I cried. I was so sad that she didn't have people in her circle that had a, a more updated understanding of how cancer manifests in the body and how to prevent it. We know how to prevent cancer. We know how to prevent cancer. So if you don't have cancer, play by the rules of prevention before you cut off your breasts. I mean, I am just blown away. This girl is super fit. She's an amazing yogini. She loves the aerial yoga. So, you know, she's flying off the scarves and like she's so beautiful and amazing. And she won't be able to do that for like six months after she has a surgery. I just, I hate to see her going through all of this in the name of prevention. And she has the same doctor, by the way, that Angelina Jolie had. And I'm like, who is this woman that is taking women's breasts in the name of prevention? It's dated. We know that that is not how to prevent. We know that that doesn't prevent. And it causes so many problems. When you start to remove parts of the body, I mean, the body works as a holistic system. Removing causes trauma in the body. It causes scar tissue, which blocks other processes of the body. I mean, ha having a tumor removed that you have is a case-by-case -case basis of what, you know, is really the best choice there. But doing a surgery in the name of prevention is insane. And my friend also doesn't have enough body fat to use her own tissue to do the reconstructive surgery. So now she's going to use cadaver tissue. I mean, she's going to use donated tissue. And I don't think she's quite understanding the risk of if there's not a match and the whole other added complication that that has. In my experience in hospitals with medical doctors when I had my C-section with my first is that they didn't tell me anything that was going on. I, I did not know. I, I had decided to have a home water birth and my baby was breached. And so at 38 weeks pregnant, I had to like find a doctor and I, I still wanted to wait to see if she would turn. Um, but my husband didn't want me to, he was too scared. And I mean, I had a doctor tell me that I could kill my baby if I did that. He's like, well, your baby could die. So you should just have the C-section. And when someone tells you that, you're like, okay, I'm just having a C-section, right? I was not told what the recovery was going to be, what the process would be. I mean, I just felt like a chicken going down the assembly line. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I know that when you're in an environment where 
surgery is happening every day and you're just like this rote part of it. There's so many things that don't get told to you because also because they're telling the same things all the time. They don't maybe possibly remember who they've told what to when, right? And so you, if you're not knowing to ask the right questions, you might not get told the information. So the idea that there's a complication with transplant um, is really serious. And then if there is a complication, then to go back and have another surgery. So then she's out of her life and her practice for so much longer when it's like, she doesn't have cancer. She doesn't have to do it. I'm so like, I, I cannot wrap my head around. Maybe you guys can give me some insight. Um, I cannot wrap my head around why anyone would do that in this day and age where we know so much more. I'm so confused. I love her. And I just can't, I can't believe her choice. Um, so maybe you guys want to let me know what you think about that or what your experience is with that. Um, I, like I said, I mean, obviously I, I strongly dissuade anyone from getting surgery in the name of prevention of cancer because it's just not how it works. And we, and we know that now. Um, okay, I'm sending love to you all. Healing. Be in your love, be in your light, be in your power. Drink your fresh pressed green juices and your fresh pressed carrot juices and get yourself that, vita that powerful vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, the powerful vitality that your body needs, give it to yourself and you're going to see a brightness and an energy and a shift in your cells because that's just what happens. Okay. Love you all. Ciao.